you could have long left the elevator and somebody will be like somebody smelled good in here and you are long gone but you leave a trail the annoying part is nobody can really know that it was you because you already left the space but this did the same thing so if you don't have cloud what are you doing i know some of you may not like it but i would just urge you to just keep a bottle for when your palette changes and you might like it you know what i mean because that happens and by then I, I don't know you might not find it today's topic is fragrances that can be worn all year round so i'll be discussing some scents for men and for women so stick around but firstly let's discuss that giveaway that i mentioned a few videos ago i will be giving away some perfumes some beauty products to three lucky winners so what i have decided in terms of how to select the winners is i would like you guys to like this video and then tag two friends and those friends should comment on your comment under this video i think that sounds really easy oh let me include following me on instagram let's do that so maybe i'll give you a little bit of a glimpse of what i'll be giving away to our three lucky winners i did an unboxing of five dollar fragrances affordable fragrances in the previous videos i'll link that video in the description box but i basically mentioned about a giveaway and i said some of the fragrances i'll be giving away are some of the ones that i unboxed in that video i went shopping and because this is like my first giveaway on this channel, I am super excited. This is only the beginning because I've already started shopping for the next giveaway. Some of the fragrances that I unboxed that I want to give away that most people have mentioned sound more enticing from the ones I unboxed. So there is Sexy Venom. I bought a few. There is Bella Root. I bought a few. The La Vie de Cinabella. I bought a few of these as well. And as I mentioned, I will have three winners. So two will get some fragrances. And the third one will also get fragrances, but some beauty products as well. The main winner will also get this Angel Muse by Mugler and um, this hydration serum. What else did I get? Something from Sephora. Just a few trinkets and obviously it goes without saying that you need to be a lovely meaning you need to be subscribed to this channel and then follow the rules that i did mention before i will link that in the description i will list the rules can't wait to announce the winners anyway back to the main topic for today what are all year round scents they are scents that you can wear any season all throughout the year so summer spring autumn winter whatever seasons you go through also they need to work in different situations scenarios activities generally speaking their sense that you can wear anytime all year round these are scents that i think are signature scent worthy they are scents that are likable they are scents that can blend for different occasions like i said they're easy reaches let's get started we're going to talk about the men and the women and men and the women we're gonna we're gonna keep it fair okay so the first one for the men my recommendation is one million paco ban for men one million by paco ban for men is advertised in some places as like a floral and in other places like a warm spicy i think it's more warm spicy the accords are like warm spicy it does have a little bit of citrus but not much it has um, patchouli it has amber woody and a little bit of leather so it's really nice it's it's masculine but women can definitely wear it for like sexy nighttime scent it's signature scent worthy for men it is a all year round a type of scent like i said it can transform for any occasion go try it if you've tried it let me know because that's that's kind of a thing right now i enjoy that perfume the first scent for the women that i would say is an all year rounder i actually tried it today because i haven't had a chance to go and try new scents lately but 
I made a point to go and try it today. So this one is called Scarlet Poppy by Jo Malone. It comes in the red bottle, which is already a different thing for Jo Malone because you know they only come in like the black bottle or like the clear bottle. The red is just something new and it's nice, nice chic bottle. I'll put the pictures up here so we both know what we're talking about. This one is floral, it's sweet. It has a bit of citrus in there as well. But the thing is, it's not too creamy. It's not too much of anything. It's got some ember in there as well. And I think anybody, whether you like floral scents, whether you like slight woody scents, you would love that. If you have not tried it, try it. I would say it's an all year round a scent. It's subtle. And the thing about Jo Malone scents is they're not as intense. They're not as irritating. And sometimes you, you can't even smell it on yourself. I don't think it's overpowering or annoying. So I think it's a very pretty feminine scent. Now, the next scent I recommend for the men as an all year rounder is Spice Balm Infrared. That one is also like a warm spicy fragrance, but this one is slightly sweeter as compared to the 1 million pack or bun. This one does not have the woody and the leather. It has the a bit of floral, it's sweet. It has the amber, but it has tobacco and that's kind of different. It is also somehow clean spicy, but um, I really liked it. You could either get the infrared or you could get the original spice bomb. Pictures will be up here. I think the, the new one is, is a little bit, you know, a little bit more sa saucy, which is the infrared. Give that one a try. I definitely think it's an all year round scent. It's likable to the opposite sex, so you can't go wrong. Next on my list of fragrances for women that are all year rounder scents is Mask Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. It is so beautiful. There is no occasion that it will be the wrong scent for. I'm speaking summer, spring. It's a great autumn scent. I love amber floral scents. You probably know this by now. And it has some white florals, a little bit of citrus, powdery notes, musky, it's sweet. So the tuberose, rose, soft spice in this fragrance makes it so pretty. And actually, it is now on my wish list. I also tried the Mask Noir. That one is nice too but nothing compared to the Mask Noir Rose. The one with the rose, the pretty, pretty rose. If you've tried that, let me know. Is that on your wish list or do you already own that? Because I, now I need to own that. Citrus, aromatic, um, floral scent is, well, with a bit of green, is the Silver Mountain by Creed. This is another year round scent that I enjoy for men. It's got sandalwood, musk, black currant, something in the dry down makes it warm enough for those colder months, you know, make it more tolerable for those types of months and seasons. The green, the citrus, the fresh, the aromaticness of it makes it really nice for spring and summer as well, all year round. If you're looking at one of the best scents by Creed, it is Silver Mountain. All those that love Creed scents, everybody knows about it so give it a try my new discovery one of my new discoveries from today that i think would be a perfect year round ascent is limitless by trusadi listen when i talk about the perfect scent for me i think that one's more niche the other ones that i've been talking about are more designer fragrances but this is just pretty okay um the dry down has got Tonka Bean Mask, Heliotrope, Hawthorne. So it does have a bit of honey and jasmine in there as well. The main accords are just the honey, the sweet, the fruity, the fresh vanilla green powdery, white floral and fresh spicy. I just thought it's creamy enough, but very clean, very clean. And it just puts me in the Narciso Rodriguez vibe. It puts me in the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle intense vibe. It puts me in the This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire vibe. You know, all of those merged into one, but it's it's great quality. It felt luxe. It smelled luxe. That's another great option for an all year round scent. Like I said, I discovered that today. Today. 
day. It's nice when you discover new scents. Now, one day I think I'll need to share my wish list with you guys. You're not gonna be shocked, but you're gonna be shocked at the same time. Cause some scents you may not have heard of or you may not think that I know about them. Yes, and just be prepared to have your wish list get longer when I start talking about these perfumes. Another really great one, depending on your budget, another great all year rounder fragrance for women. I think I think there's more of my women on this channel. More of my lovelies are women, so I'm gonna cater to them. I have more options for you because I know we are the shoppers in the world, you know? Rouge Rose was really great from um, Van Cleef and Arpels. I don't have a scent from them, but that one was really, really good i'm trying to remember what it smelled like to me oh it reminded me of something that i have in my collection and i think towards the end of the video i will share with you some all year rounder scents from my collection in case you already own some of the perfumes i have and you just kind of want to know how you can wear it i'll share those with you but that rouge rose don't sleep on it now, Clive Christian, we all know this is like, we're talking luxury, luxury fragrances here. We're talking like $600 and above just for a 50 mil. Okay. From the Noble Collection, Magnolia. I need you to go try that one. I really do. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. Un Jardin. I think that's how you say it. I will put the name up here or in the description, I think they were just pretty i won't mention the other ones because i don't think they're all year round a sense the next one is dolce and gabbana parfum eau de parfum now dolce and gabbana parfum for women i'll put the bottle up here this one has been around for years for years and when i was younger i loved this it's been on my wish list for like ever this is a perfect elegant clean delicate woman okay all year round very feminine just very beautiful scent and you can't go wrong like literally when you have no ideas on what to wear whatever the occasion you pick that one sweet vanilla powdery citrus white florals it's an easy reach if you have not tried it and you're new to fragrances that's one to put at the top of your list as well it's a designer scent so it's not like cheap but it's manageable you know and it's something that would be okay to repurchase it's beautiful and you will get compliments for that one because it's just an easy one to like this is fabulous rose i recently unboxed this fragrance in my max aroma haul if i remember i'll link it in the description but you can't miss it it's a max aroma unboxing video fabulous rose is a nice clean rose with some lemon in there i was pleasantly surprised when i went to wear this because i had promised i'm gonna wear i'm gonna try them and see how they they last and everything but when i went to spray this i was actually wearing a fitted dress and some sneakers errands you know i was pleasantly surprised because it's very sharp but when it dries down it's so it's warm it's it's a nice rose at the end of the day i was like just doing me and someone was like you smell amazing and i was like i thought that perfume had worn off but no it's there even though you don't know it's there but it's still there and it's so nice okay because it smells prim and proper but obviously you can wear it any way you like i really enjoy this and i think it would be a perfect all year round of fragrance for women because of the clean rose and the dry down is slightly warmer so yeah all seasons perfect now depending on your budget this is cloud by ariana grande talking to one of my lovelies in the comment section and i said to her i've been wearing this all by itself and somebody said to me who sprayed in the in the corridor like this was like at an office they said who sprayed out there and i'm like well i didn't spray out there so that can't be me and they just kept asking like somebody's smelling good it was this you guys this is behaving like baccarat rouge like it's yes the initial spray kind of smells like baccarat rouge, but it's actually behaving like baccarat rouge you could have long left the elevator and 
somebody will be like, somebody smelled good in here. And you are long gone, but you leave a trail. The annoying part is nobody can really know that it was you because you already left the space, but this did the same thing. So if you don't have cloud, what are you doing? I know some of you may not like it, but I would just urge you to just keep a bottle for when your palette changes and you might like it. You know what I mean? Cause that happens. And by then, I, I don't know, you might not find it. There was actually one of my lovelies that I was like <laughs> having long chats with her about fragrances. And this is one of the ones we talked about. And she actually mentioned that for every second, was it three, four, five of these bottles were being sold? Because I had mentioned that they were sold out. The perfume was sold out every drugstore I went to, every chemist warehouse, every, they just didn't have, oh, we sold the last bottle, oh, we sold the last bottle. And I'm like, how? So yeah, they were going, going, gone. So there's a reason why everybody was buying these. I just enjoy sharing good stuff with you guys. So I'm on a roll, so why not? Why not share cloud with you by itself? It might not seem like much. It might not smell like a big deal. Sometimes you're just like, oh, might as well wear it. But the effect it has is worth it, okay? Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't, don't, don't come back. Ember, woody, floral, rose, sweet, just everything in a bottle, okay? So I know. You're probably thinking, here we go, here we go. She's gonna talk about Chanel here yet again. Coco is a great all year round scent. Okay. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. <laughs> you guys. I'm actually texting my brother right now. Okay, he was meant to come and hang out with me today, but because of my schedule and things, it didn't turn out that way. And so now it's really late. It's like 9 p.m. He was meant to come around 7. And then I called him at 6.30 and I said, you don't need to come because I have things to do. Okay, I'll see you next time. But I sent him the video where I was talking about love at first sniffs. And the part where I spoke about light blue intense. And I mentioned him. So I sent him that video. And, you know, I told him to watch it because I was like, I spoke about you, you know. And um, so he's texting me back and he's like, wait, let me not make things up. Let me quote him. He's like, ha ha ha. I loved the video, by the way. Thanks. That perfume was nice. I actually buy some. And that's the same thing he said on the day. Anyway, he said, yeah, I would buy some. Um, he's like, I'm going to buy it. I was like, okay, <laughs> let me know when you do. <laughs> but anyway, so it, it's a coincidence that I'm talking about it and texting him about it too. But anyway, yes. So he really enjoyed this. It's been a while since we discussed the accords. So this one is a citrus, musky, fresh, fruity, aromatic, ember, powdery, woody, white floral, green scent. The dry down has musk and amberwood. So it does have middle notes of jasmine. There's a Granny Smith apple in there. Don't I always, anyway, I always say that. Lemon, there's lemon in the top notes. Now, the male version, um, that one is called the Intense Pearl Home, light blue. That one has more like marine, salty, aromatic, aquatic, yeah, I think the main difference between this one is the salty marine scent. Men and women can wear this, but if you're a man and you're interested in the Parfum, the male version, I'll try to put the pictures up here. Um, go ahead and try that one too. It's a perfect all year round scent for men. Now there's this Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men, the one that comes in the gold bottle. I'll put it up here. That one is a perfect scent for men all year round. It's clean, but there's something really warm about it. You know, it's kind of well-rounded and it, I just enjoyed that one. If you don't try this one, try that one too. Perfect, all year round a scent for men. The last scent that I would discuss today from my collection that I think is a perfect all year round a scent, I actually think it's great for men and women 
is Baccarat Rouge 540 <laughs> EDP. Like, did you not see this coming? <laughs> um, what don't you know about Baccarat Rouge now? Like, you know, let's discuss. This is like a salty, sultry. Let's use sultry. Skin like scent. It's warm, slightly spicy, like slightly spicy. It's sweet and clean at the same time. And it's very airy. It smells like air, but skin at the same time. I think this is a perfect all year round scent because it's neither too warm or dry and not too fresh and citrusy either. So it's very, very nice. Unisex, I think. Yeah. If you don't already own it, go get it. And it's a little bit addictive. <laughs> the more you wear it, the more you love it, and all those great things. But as you know, the alternative is Cloud by Ariana Grande. Both are great all year round a scent. They are different perfumes, but some similarities in their behavior and in some of their codes. Some typical male scents that are safe for all year round um the new one the legend red mont blanc perfume is really good if you like perfumes like allure by chanel you know some spicy clean scents it's really great it's also very masculine dolce and gabbana the one for men i mentioned that one must try givenchy gentleman eau de parfum reserve privé that one that was beautiful. I tried that today. It's got like a warm, like boozy scent in there. Oh, whiskey, amber, woods. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about masculine everyday scent. My favorites was this one. So the Reserve Privé by um, Givenchy. The Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men and I don't know like it's so hard but these are the ones that I'm remembering stuck out to me as my favorites there's this Middle Eastern smelling one it's called Pasha by Cartier incense woods at their best I feel like that's for a certain type of men if you like more Middle Eastern scents Pasha is really great it's kind of a new one ish is it new it was new to me. So iris, chestnut, amber, whiskey, woods, bergamot, gentleman, eau de parfum, reserve, privé is, I don't know, top of the list. It's, yeah, it stood out to me today. So that's an all year rounder scent, I think, if you like more masculine woody scents. So give that one a go. I have done a good job in mentioning some new scents that are out in the market right now and as you know we could go on and on and on and on let's end it here should we mention one more amouage on a woman for my women who like leather or poponax amber vertiver this is a great fragrance amouage on a woman all year rounder scent sophisticated hmm. might be a little bit sickening for those that don't like chiburos and things like that but but it's definitely good okay i have shared with you some scents that i think would work all year round that would just be charming any season any time and these are some of the new scents that are on the market that you may not have heard of but now you have a little bit of homework to go and try let me know how you feel about them and if you already own them let me know how you like them i am excited to hear from you in the comment section and do not forget about that giveaway the rules will be in the description again but if you missed that basically <laughs> i did ask that you be subscribed to this channel and that you like this video and comment in the comment section once you've done that go ahead and share this video with two of your friends and they should also watch the video and leave a comment on your comment down in the description of course do not forget to follow me on instagram because that is also part of the requirement. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Good luck. Bye. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around. 
counts a little And we keep track of time Being so serious, idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown